Backyard Bee Builder here, and today I've got an awesome video. We're going to talk about uh, harvesting honey. Um, one of our, one of the funnest things you get to do as a beekeeper. So it's really fun. Um, I'm going to use the crush and strain method. Um, it's something that I really like and enjoy, and I'll talk about some of the reasons why I do that um, later on in the video. But um, come along with me and let's have some fun. Um, to start out, I like to have a honey bucket. Um, now this is just really nice to have on hand because um, it just makes the mess a lot less. I'll share a link to, to the making of this bucket um, later on in the video if you're interested in making your own. Another tool I use to harvest my honey is a decapping tank or a tub. And this is one that I just made myself. Um, if you only have a small amount of hun honey, all you'll need is really the honey bucket. Um, but because I have several plants to harvest, I'm going to go ahead and use my tank. Now another thing I like to use is a game bag. Now this is the kind of game bag that hunters will use um, to put their, their kill in. Um, however, I like this because it's, in a, it's already in a sack um, like thing. And I will go ahead. Um, and it's just cheesecloth. If you don't have these, you can use cheesecloth. Um, if you can sew it into like a bag type thing, it makes it really easy to put into the buckets. But I'll go ahead and just cut off a piece of that that will fit in my in my five gallon bucket. Um, and there I have a sack, a cheesecloth sack that I can go ahead and scoop my honeycomb into. Um, and that just makes it easy and it makes it straighten out really well. So first off, make sure that your honey bucket is rinsed out well and that it's dry. Um, this is what your honey is going to be in right before it's emptied into the bottle, so make sure that it's sanitary and clean. Um, also make sure it's dry because water is what will cause your honey to ferment. Um, so I make sure that it's dried out before I do it. So I'll get my cheesecloth sack and I'll go ahead and put it over the top of this bucket. Now you don't want it to sit on the bottom else it won't allow your uh, honeycomb to drain out. So I'll put it to where it's only about halfway down inside the bucket and it will stretch once it gets some weight in it. So make sure that it, uh, it's lifted up just a little bit. I have my cheesecloth sack inside the bucket. I'll go ahead and use some electric tape just to fit it on there so it doesn't slip down in when I'm scraping honeycomb into it. Okay, now I've got my bucket, bucket all ready. Let's go over to our decapping tank and get it ready to go. So I have my decapping tank all ready, and so I'm ready to scrape off the wax in there. If you're interested in the construction of making one at home, um, you can check out one of my other videos. Now I'm just gonna get my spatula and I'm gonna just scrape it off right into the decapping tank. It's really easy. If you do have um, old comb, it can be more difficult to scrape it off, but this is fresh comb, so it's uh, really soft and easy to scrape. Um, scraped off into my decapping bucket um, and it is just now draining out. You can see there's still quite a good pool of honey in there. Um, it will take some time. Sometimes I'll leave it all overnight just to finish draining, but there's already a whole lot of honey in the bottom. So let's open it up and let it drain out. Um, here you can see I have my honey bucket. Um, this is the one that we put the gate on. And we're going to go ahead and empty it into here just to help strain out some of the fine particles. There, it just comes streaming out where it'll go into the cheesecloth and then empty into this bucket. Um, after it's done being in this bucket, I will just empty it through my bottom honey gate into some bottles.
reason why I choose to use this method of extraction. I've had a centrifugal ex extractor before, um, and I had it for a few years, and then I just ended up selling it because I didn't like harvesting that way. Um, I love to have fresh, new honey comb that I can harvest my honey off of. And that's what I get this way when I'm scraping it off. It is harder for the bees. They have to use honey in order to build up the honeycomb. Um, but the nice thing is that when I'm done, I get a lot more wax um, that I get a harvest off of the hives and I can use that for different things as well. So this is a, a great method to do it. It's really easy. A lot of people like to go to the flow hives because they, they consider it to be easier to harvest honey, but really this method is clean and easy and quick. And so I really do like this one and prefer it to the other method. Now to each his own, some people like doing it the other way and that's great. It is better for the bees and you'll probably end up getting more honey that way because they're not wasting so much honey building up the comb. But um, this is a lot quicker and so this is the method I choose to use. So this kind of shows you the whole setup. I have the decapping tank up above and it has all of the comb in it but then it drains into my honey bucket with the cheesecloth sack. And after that, I lift that up just enough that I'll be able to fill up a bottle down below so that I can be filling them up and keeping the bucket empty enough so that the honey could continue to siphon out. So as you can see here, I've taken all of the honeycomb out of the bucket. I put it through this cheesecloth sack and strained it and squeezed it as much as I could. And then after I was done with that, I put it back in this bucket, but you can still see that there's still a fair bit of honey in some of the comb. Um, so I'm not gonna let that go to waste. I'll go ahead and show you how I get that out. Okay, so as you can see, I put this in a pot, and it's a double boiler pot. Um, so the bottom pot's gonna have some water in it, and so that just keeps the wax from burning. Um, I'll go ahead and put that on the stove, um, where it'll start to heat up, and just do it really slowly. It is flammable, so you gotta be really careful if you do it in the house. Um, but it's already started to melt down some, and you can see that it's starting to really soften um, and get the wax on the outer edges. And it just kinda turns into a big soup. Um, and at first it looks like it's all mixing in, but as you can see a little bit later on, it'll start to separate um, and you'll be able to access your honey. Okay, I'll go ahead and give it a stir. Um, as it heats up, I like to keep it stirred up just to make sure that all the honeycomb is getting melted down. And you can start to see more of the honey coming to the surface and really starting to turn it into a soupy mess. Um, but don't worry, we will get it worked out. Um, you can start to see that the honey has started to come along the outside edges of this pot and really start to separate from the honey. Um, once it's all melted down like this, I'll go ahead and just let it cool. Okay, here you can see I've gotten all of my wax comb that's been drained out of honey, but it still has a lot of honey in it. So here, I've put it in a double boiler and I've boiled it down. Um, now, once it's all boiled down, I've actually let it sit overnight um, and harden just a little bit. It's still quite soft, but around the edges you can see it's got straight wax in it. But if you look underneath, and I like to do this when it's still a little bit warm so I can get to the honey. It's just straight honey under there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that um, through a filter um, so I can use it because it's still really good honey. It has been pasteurized at this point. At this point, I find it really helpful to just scoop the wax off the top of the honey um, and so that it's easier to pour the honey into, through a filter. So I'll send the rest of the honey through a double filter and that just helps get the small particles out of it. There's actually quite a bit in there, but it has been pasteurized, so I'll keep it separate from my raw honey. But this is the Backyard Bee Builder. I hope you enjoy this video and we will see you next time.